When seconds mattered, two quick-thinking cops made fast decisions, saving a woman trapped inside a burning car. Tonight, only on two, we're hearing from those heroic officers. As CBS 2's Chris Ty tells us, what they saw in the back seat is still giving them chills. This is all that's left of a silver Buick Lucerne that on Friday night squarely hit a pole, triggering a fireball that started the size of a basketball and eventually shot six feet into the air. With their cruisers stopped, their body cams rolled. Step up, she's trapped inside. Zion officers Steve Vines and Casey Taylor on foot hear the onlookers before they see them. And I just kept hearing one person scream, she's trapped inside, she's trapped inside. With the front hood on fire, window tinting film becomes a problem. The adhesive of it prevented them from shattering the glass. Since the accident jammed the doors, they scramble here to the passenger window, which naturally gave way, amping up the voice of the 41-year-old woman writhing in pain in her burning car. I heard one loud pop, I mean, to the point where it actually scared me because I thought the car was, you know, exploding. No explosion, but in the course of 30 seconds, the job usually reserved for fire crews fell on two patrol officers who say it felt much longer. At least 10 minutes. I mean, for, you know, it's like uh, when, you, when your adrenaline spikes that high, everything slows down. Well, it's more or less just adrenaline, trying to get her out uh, as quickly as possible. And they do just that out to some nearby grass, where seconds later, fire crews arrive. All right, stay there, okay? And it's then that Officer Vines remembers what he saw in her back seat. But I did notice that there was a gas can in the back seat. Her life was more important than my concentrating on a gas can at that point. And if it would have caught, the entire inside of the car would have engulfed, and it's possible that she would have lost her life. We still don't know who she was, her identity not released, because the police report not yet public, and so we can't find out what her condition is either. Police think she just confused the brake pedal with the gas on Friday. In Zion, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.